Hey guys, it's the Mar Guardian. Uh, I want to let you know that I will be making more videos later on, but at this time, I just want to relax and enjoy my own personal time. I will be planning to make videos or maybe around April or May. I'm going to try to make a big trip all around the state of Oregon and then plan to go to Idaho. Idaho will be probably be my next state that I'm going to go to and test the cities around there and see how the officers react. Then I might actually progress this channel into, like, for example, um, getting to involved with sheriffs and seeing each sheriff's opinions and ideas that are willing to talk to me and then I can post this on my channel for you guys to realize of your sheriffs and what their position is. And if you want to determine if it's a good sheriff for the defense of your constitutional right, is he going to be willing to fight for? Uh, your liberty, your individual liberty that you voted for him to do to protect uh, your right to life, liberty, and property. Uh, then also, in that conversation with the sheriff, probably he might offer some classes for you guys that you may be willing to uh, go and train, uh, get training from the sheriffs or his deputies somehow, which might be a great uh, involvement with the law enforcement. Uh, I like the idea that maybe we could get involved with city officers, but I'm not really particularly uh, like the idea of city officers because most of them, the, the chief, are generally uh, located by wards, more like bureaucracy. They're not really elected by the people, so there's really no accountability. A sheriff, you have a great amount of accountability because the sheriff is elected by the people, and I support the sheriffs. I don't technically support state troopers or law enforcement, city law enforcement, because they're not really elected by us. If they were, then I may have a different opinion, but at this time, I don't. They're, I'm not going to say that officers from law enforcement, city officers are bad, or are all bad. I'm just saying that, you know, I if they're going to be in, a, in our republic type of government, they should be, you know, elected by the people, the, the chief at least, needs to be elected by the people, not by the wards. And... And as that stated, like I said, I, I want to get sheriffs. I like the idea of having sheriffs because sheriff holds a great amount of power too. And he can pretty much say, hey, this law is not going to be forced in my county. You get the fuck out. And I like that kind of attitude because our liberties are in stake. Every day we speak. Every day we think. Our, and you already know what's going on with the state of Oregon, which all these anti-gun bills are going across around. And, and we're all worried because we lost the House, and it's now everything, the House, Senate, and the governor, it's controlled by the Democratic Party. Even though there are some Democrats that have some good ratings that actually will probably defend the right, but hopefully they realize that this is this has been really bad. They're they're really pushing it. They're they're making us scared, and they're gonna make us more formed. Like we're gonna gather together, talk what's going to happen. If they try to pass this bill, we may actually consider seceding from the state of Oregon, gathering counties together, and then making the state of Jefferson idea, which is pretty good. But at this moment, I'm going to refrain from that idea. But it's still an idea, and I'm still gonna think about that idea, and I'm still gonna talk with many people about the issue. With me. That may happen as a preconscious measure. But besides that, like I said, I like to get the idea where I'm going to go to every sheriff and I'm going to see what their opinion is, uh, where do they stand in the Constitution, are they willing to educate the citizens on, you know, firearm training, safety, you know, uh, but also not very agenda-like. If I know that there's some some sort of an agenda in the sheriff's eyes or in his words, then I may not really. Um, say hey this is a good sheriff I wouldn't say that because I, when a sheriff goes like it has their own agenda and doesn't like hey look sir you have the right to keep and bear arms uh, I'm willing to train you to effectively use that and be safe with it you can bear it concealed open rifle whatsoever and doesn't really give his own agenda like, you need a concealed carry it's, it's super protective no one would know you get the first attack yeah you have your own opinions though but if it's going to be like that kind of attitude, like, you better do this or I'm not going to train you, then, um, no, I'm not a good sheriff. But besides that, five more minutes, uh, I'm going to be cutting out five. So, I'll be making videos soon, and I'll let you guys know what's going on later on. So, around April or May.
yeah, April or May is when I'm going to start making some more videos if I didn't say already. And like I said, I like I want to completely cover the state of Oregon. And then after I get done with the state of Oregon, I am probably be going to Idaho and you know just adventure around there and see how it turns out to be. I think Idaho will be a very interesting state, especially when there the population there that uh, that moved there and had lived there many many years of their life are really strong traditional uh, firearm owners. Though they seem to not really push the issue on their legislators, say, "Hey, look." You know, is there any way that we can make, you know, get our rights back from the federal government that's taken away from us? You know, is, can we put like a, a law that actually restricts any more federal gun control and such? I haven't seen that very much. I, I even talked to an opencare.org and see if they can, uh, uh, you know, uh, actually, I asked them, have you guys talked to your legislators, you know, your house, your senators? And they haven't replied to my message, and I'm thinking, okay, very well. They seem to not have their uh, shit together in OpenCarry.org, so yeah, screw you too. And I talked to some guy on my Facebook page on Mark Guardian, and he he said he's the one that made the organization over there in Idaho for the Boise State Capitol. And he had some cool pictures about people carrying their rifles in the state capitol building. And uh, Governor Otter was like, mm, you're welcome. I'll find sir. <laughs> Pretty much. So it's really cool. Uh, I, I like the, the culture there in Idaho. It seems to be very, uh, very, very positive. It is considered very conservative. And conservative, it's like they're kind of conservative back into uh, like the 1900s in a way. Yeah, like around 1920s or something like that. So it could be a great uh, movement to get people motivated and start thinking, hey, you know, more liberty, more rights for the uh, life, liberty, and property for the individual is much more needed, and we need to start getting into that. I like to see a lot of things, but, you know, I'm just one person. So, yeah, that's my plan. I'm um, sorry for this long video. I meant to make it only five minutes, but I got carried away. So you guys have a good night. I'm going to probably head to bed soon. All right, take care.